Listen to part of a conversation between a student and a professor. So, professor, I finally got the chance to watch the movie you recommended in class, but I am quite confused about how the film relates to the psychoanalytic interpretation of dreams. Is this your topic for the term paper? You know the paper is due next Monday. Yes, professor, and I've been spending many hours doing my research, and I was wondering whether the topic I've chosen is appropriate for the assignment you've given us. Well, if you are going to talk about the author's life and its association with the psychoanalytical interpretation of the film, then it is very relevant to the assignment. What did you think about the film? I thought the film shows many elements associated with the life of the author Dostoevsky himself. I mean, the names of the characters appear to have personal associations with him. Oh, really? How so? Well, I noticed the old pawnbroker, Aliona, has the same name as the family nurse, Aliona Fralovna who Dostoevsky knew well throughout his childhood. That's true. So why do you think Dostoevsky gave the pawnbroker that name? Since Dostoevsky had an early experience of losing his mother, she seems to be the guilt-inducing mother figure and the object of a violent attack. Dostoevsky uses her name in the film to personify the negative side of his emotional conflict with his mother. Indeed. We can see his intense struggle with both sides of the maternal ambivalence, and the profound impact his mother's death has had on him. And all these are linked with the imagery expressed in the horse courier scene. You can surely think about where in the author's life these images come from. That scene was very vivid, and I think the account of the horse and courier is not just an emblem of the author's memory of his childhood, but something that weaves all emotions and themes from his whole life. Oh, it's good to see that you were paying attention in class. Now, do you think you have a solid topic for your paper? Yes, I do. I was thinking of going back to watch the symbolic scenes once more, and see if I missed anything. Question 7. What is the conversation mainly about?